What's up guys, Irish Tail here, and welcome to my how to operate a video. So today's video is all about Montagna. It's all about his shield class, so we're going to hop straight into his video, and then we'll be back in his loadout screen. Okay guys, so when we talk about loadout for Montagna, he has his primary, which is the extendable shield, Le Rock. Uh, this is his only primary weapon, he's only he's a shield class, he's a, that is it, so all he gets is a shield. But then his second weapon is either the P9 handgun or the LFP586 revolver. Now personally I use the revolver, although I am considering now leaning towards the P9. as um, I, like, I, I prefer the pistols that have got a few more bullets in them. Because unless you're accurate with the uh, revolver, it's not worth using. And you probably want to use something that's got a bit more ammo in it. So I'd probably say go with a P9. But as always, you know, the loadout is your decision. Don't take anything I say to heart and do what you want. Because it's always your decision. Gadget-wise, you can either have stun grenades or smoke grenades. Now, personally, I'd use stun grenades. As you could just stun grenade somebody, walk in and then, as they shoot your shield. And then just shoot them back as soon as they start to reload. Smoke grenades, though, are useful if you want to sort of like throw a smoke grenade and then walk through it into it towards enemies. Personally, I'd say I'd go for the stun grenade. Okay, guys, so now we're going to hop over and I'm going to show you his ability in action. Okay, guys, so Montagna's ability is actually to extend his shield over his entire body. This is really good for stopping enemies from being able to shoot you and being able to cause damage. But if you use this in tandem with having a teammate hiding behind you, you actually basically are a walking piece of cover, provided there's enemies in front of you. Anything to the side or to the back, you're going to get killed because they're going to be able to hit you. So remember, guys, his ability is good, but you want to use it with other players in tandem. Now, the weakness with his ability is Nitro Cell. Now, it's the same as any of the shield. If somebody's got Nitro Cell, they can detonate it and actually kill you really, really easily. So if you can't see that there's a Nitro Cell down, you want to be really careful as you approach certain buildings. So as you can see here, we were just testing out the shield to see how good it was. And obviously, I push forwards towards the wall as I go towards him. And there's a Nitro Cell on the door. But obviously, I, as a player, I might not be able to see that. I might just be defending. So I walk over. And I can see him there, and it detonates and kills me instantly. So he's a good class for defense, but you want to watch out for Nitro Cell, guys, as it will kill you very quickly. Okay, guys, and that's everything there is to know about Montagna. So obviously, he is a bit more of a defensive class. You want to try and use him in tandem with other players to help you. But overall, he's a pretty solid class. You only really want to be watching out for cap cans, devices on the floors, and also... That nitro cells and also smoke as well because you might not be able to get out of the gas cloud in time but other than that you should be pretty solid provided you're facing forwards and the enemies are in front of you you're pretty well defended and they're not going to be able to hit you very well so he's a pretty awesome class to use especially if you use him well with other teammates because you can actually draw fire and help your team get kills from shooting out from behind you so hopefully you've learned something new guys and if you have hit that like button and subscribe for more operators videos to come soon and i'll see you in the next one